Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to actually demonstrate the L shape, arm balance first, and then I'm going to break down a couple of other things, exercises that you can do every day in order to work towards it. So this is the L shape. And now the first thing that a lot of times see people doing when they try to lift, they place the hands too far back. Your palms need to be pretty much between your knees and your hips. Now from here, once you lift the hips up, you gotta scoop them back, lift the bundle. And then maybe play with lifting one leg on top of the other for a few. And then switch. Good. And now that's in your front hip flexor, the toes need to be really, really strong for this. So another great way to actually work the front hip flexor, you can just feed it like this. You can play with lifting one leg at a time, a few times. Then do the opposite. And if that's easy, maybe try to lift both legs at the same time. Up, up, up. Again, you can use the blocks to make it a little bit more fun, which I always like to do, on each side. And then you can actually practice one leg up and over, up, up and over, head and back. Another great way to go a little bit deeper on the front hip flex and to place the block right under the heel and then from there just go up and closer to the block, up, closer to the block, up, closer to the block, up, closer to the block. Another important thing when you're doing those little raises, yeah. notice that then people want to hinge back, don't do that, lean forward or stay completely upright and then from there use your core, scoop the belly in and up, allow the front floating wrist and the front hip bones to move towards one another. And then find actually the front hip flexor doing the work for you here and the core. And down. Another great thing to play with here um, to get this actually the scoop and the lift of the hips up. It comes very handy if you're not really strong. I highly suggest to start with blocks because it will give you a little height to work with. So place the blocks pretty much between the knees and your hips. And you're going to place your palms onto the block. Now, if you have socks, you can slide with the socks. Or if you have all the great socks in the studio, I'm using the blanket. I'm going to place my heels onto the blanket, and now from here, I'm going to press my hands down, scoop the core in. So the front of the body is moving back. So don't do this, the opposite. Scoop in and back. As you press the palms into the earth, scoop the abdomen in, lift the hips up, and scoop them back. And then move forward. Do a maybe 10 of your. Inhale, exhale as you scoop, inhale, exhale as you scoop. Maybe next time you scoop, hold it for five, four, three, two, and I'll release it down one. Um, again, you can do the same thing with the little blocks that we did earlier. Good. Move the blanket, I'm going to place the blocks here on the side. My hands will still be elevated onto the block. I'm going to lift the hips up and back, and I'm going to work with one leg up and down. Up, and then switch. Up, 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 back, and down. <laughs> then another fun little approach. I'll do it facing here. If you have the block in here, again, hands will go onto the block. Let me get rid of this mat for my hands. Up, up, back. Hands onto the block. Scoop the hips up and back. Go up. Thing, being open in your hamstring, it will help actually in order to keep your legs straight. 
John doing a lot of fascia muscle up, lengthening it, or just a stretch and open up your hamstring comes handy, strengthening the front hip flexors, the core work, and of course how you're distributing the weight into the palm, pushing and resisting the floor weight, and scooping the front of the body towards the back.